That probably looks awful. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? It's not that bad. For not using a mirror, that's pretty good. Hello. Hi, my name is Hannah. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a lot of work to do and I have a lot of anxiety. And those two things don't mesh well. <laughs> well, actually yesterday I really had a lot of work to do, but I had so much work to do yet also so much on my mind and so much anxiety that I was in one of those states where I needed to and wanted to do work, but I also knew I needed a break. So I wanted to just like watch something to relax for a little bit. But every time I try to watch something, I kept thinking about how much work I had to do so I couldn't watch anything. So then I tried to work, but every time I tried to work, I get so tired that I tried to watch something to like take a break. And then I kept going back and forth until I got to the point where I literally just couldn't do anything and instead I just sat there for three hours and scrolled through TikTok. So here we are at today where I have a mountain of work that is piled up and I have a lot of things to do and less time to do them than I had originally planned. So today we're going to be productive and do a lot of work because I am no longer letting my anxiety and my insecurities control my life. I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I literally have too much to do. I don't have time for the anxiety. I don't have time for the mental illness. <laughs> we have no more room for this, okay? So we're not letting this control our lives anymore and we're gonna be productive and we're gonna do good things today. I also wanna add like a caveat because I've mentioned this before in different videos where I don't think like you have to be productive all the time in order to like be a good person or a contributing member of society or like a person who has value in life. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying Saying, I literally have things I have to do and if I don't do them there will be repercussions so I've got to do them and I don't want to let these things control my life and prevent me from doing the things I want to do I'm not just trying to be productive for the sake of being productive I'm trying to be productive because I actually have to be did you hear my arm crack <laughs> another thing I really need to do is start like stretching and do some yoga because my body does not get enough movement and it's really bad that was so embarrassing <laughs> Anyway, all that said, I have a video that I need to finish editing that I need to submit for a draft for a sponsor. I also have like 10 emails that I've been avoiding for the past week that I really need to respond to. And I have to make a thumbnail and plan out some Instagram content and plan out some other video content. And I already had a meeting this morning, so like, it's actually currently, what time? Where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's actually 11.59, but I didn't film myself this morning because honestly, I wasn't even planning on filming today. But I noticed myself starting to slip back into yesterday's habit of um, just sitting there and scrolling endlessly on Instagram and TikTok. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film to keep myself accountable and motivate myself a little bit to actually do some of this work in a timely manner so I'm less stressed out the rest of this week. Because that's what's important, doing things ahead of time so that you're not stressed out later. As a chronic procrastinator, who has procrastinated literally since the time she was born. Actually, I was born early, so technically I did not procrastinate. Not my birth, at least. Everything after my birth, I've procrastinated. <laughs> but as I've gotten older, I have realized how bad procrastinating is. Like, I always knew, but oh my god, the other day I finished something that I had a deadline for, like, two days before it was due, and then I just had, like, two days of so much more free time, and it was incredible. Like, could not recommend it enough. It was amazing. Doing things ahead of time, unreal. What a concept. I'm trying to do that more frequently now. That is my goal. Let's start by finishing up the edits on my video. So let's go do that first and then move on to everything else on my list. But before we get any further into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform that has thousands of classes on pretty much any subject you can imagine. So whether you're looking for a way to structure your time a bit better or to develop a new skill, Skillshare is the perfect place to help you learn any of that. This year, I've been working on a lot of different creative projects that have definitely challenged me artistically. So one thing I've been looking to develop is my own like artistic ability and skill. And you all know that I also really love to journal. So lately, I've been taking this course called Sketchbook Illustration for all draw your day with watercolor and pen by Samantha Dion Baker which is essentially entirely about sketch journaling and I've done things similar to this before but I've never really focused on the actual like drawing aspect of it since I never really learned how to draw properly I guess and I thought this would be a really helpful way to help me develop some of those skills and it's been really really nice focusing a bit more on artwork because I've never really done that before if you're interested in trying out Skillshare for yourself the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership 
membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So once again, a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And without any further ado, let's get into the vlog. It is 1.30 p.m. and the video is finally exporting. It's exporting, do you see that? Exporting. <laughs> I'm almost done. Also, here is my to-do list for the day. So we have my draft due, I have to edit the video, upload the draft, make my thumbnail, which doesn't necessarily have to be done today, but I'd like to get it done. Uh, these four emails, and then I had a meeting, which already happened, like I mentioned earlier this morning, and that went well, so that's done. But now I can mark off edit video, since I did that. So that's done. So that's one thing less to do today. I need to have lunch, because I didn't have lunch earlier. <laughs> This is very random and incredibly specific, but does anybody else have this like weird anxiety about leaving food in the microwave for too long? Like I will never microwave anything for more than one minute at a time. Like if it needs to be warmer, I'll put it in again for another minute, but like I can't make it longer than one minute. Otherwise I'm afraid it's gonna like explode. <laughs> it's done. so satisfying. <laughs> All right, hi, we're back on my floor. So I finally finished uploading the video, submitted the draft, checked it off of my to-do list, feels so good. That was like the main thing that I really had to do today. I just had to send in that draft and it's finally done. So that's a huge weight off my shoulders. But now I do have a bunch of emails that I really need to reply to and um, my room does need to be cleaned. I have once again, another giant pile of clothes on my chair that need to be put away. Um, so I have things to do here and there, but honestly, like I, as good as I feel having like finished that major thing, I am also like feeling a bit more anxious right now than I was, um, before. So I think I just spent too much time on Instagram in between doing all of that, which has honestly been so bad for my mental health recently. Like I've always known that Instagram and just social media in general just like is not productive when I'm not feeling well, but it really just like makes me feel like miserable sometimes. <laughs> I get way too comparative and I think one of the things that I've been definitely trying to focus on, especially this month, it's literally one of my goals that I set for myself in this month, which is just to compare myself less to people. It's such a bad habit of mine. I do it all the time about like everything about myself and I'm just trying to compare myself a lot less and it's been really nice every time I'm able to do it, but sometimes I just get like way too caught up and my brain just like focuses on something and I just can't let it go. And I feel like today that's like really happening a lot for me and my brain is just like fixating on things and trying to compare me to other people or compare my content or my skills or my personality <laughs> to other people and it's just not good. It's really not good. So I keep trying to tell myself that like life is not a competition and the thing is like I'm not competitive and that's that's why I hate this so much, that's why I hate when I get like this, because I can like feel that it's like societal influence, that it's not even my personality, that like makes me feel like I need to compare myself to everyone and I'm like constantly in competition with everyone when like I'm not, like I'm running my own race, this has nothing to do with other people. I try my best to just focus on what I'm doing because like it's my life, then that's what matters and that's what I need to be focusing on and other people are living their own lives and like you don't need to constantly be comparing how well you're doing to how well somebody else else is doing because it's not your business honestly and it's just not good for you so I'm trying my best to just focus as much as possible on me and what I'm doing and what I have control over and not the things that I do not have control over like other people anyway 
just to give you an idea of where my head's been at for the day. Right now, I honestly think I need a little bit of a break. I don't really feel like um, answering those emails or anything right now, and I just did like all that work. So I think I deserve a small break. So I think I'm actually gonna go play the piano for a little bit because um, I need that relaxation. Plus I try to practice the piano, not every day, I don't do it every single day, but as often as I can, it's one of the things I like track in my bullet journal and stuff too. So I wanna practice that a little bit. So we'll do that for a little and um, see how that changes my mood. Hopefully it can distract me a little bit and refocus my mind back onto the things that I need to be focusing on. So playing the piano was super nice, actually. It got my mind off of a lot of the negative thoughts that I was having, and it distracted me for a good bit, which was really nice. But anyway, um, I'm still really just not feeling answering any of those emails. I still like need more time away from doing like real work things. So I'm gonna substitute doing the work I need to do by doing housework because that's what I always do. And I'm finally gonna clean off this pile of clothes on my chair. It keeps showing up. I really don't know what to do about it. Like I clean it up and then it immediately just like appears again. I mean, I know the solution is literally just to put my clothes away immediately after I change out of them, but like, am I ever gonna do that? Probably not. Anyway, so for now, I'm going to clean it up. And while I do that, um, usually I'll listen to like an audiobook or music or something. But recently I have been re-watching uh, While You Were Sleeping, which is a K-drama that I absolutely love. So I kind of want to like watch that while I do this. I know I have to like read the subtitles to like actually understand it, but I've seen it before. So like, it's okay. <laughs> also, I've watched so many K-dramas that I'm like starting to pick up like words and phrases in Korean and like I can like, have a vague understanding of the conversation that's being held, even if I'm not looking at the screen or reading the subtitles. So it's, I might accidentally learn Korean from watching way too many K-dramas. You know, something good can come out of it. <laughs> anyway, I love this show so much. It's so good. And every time I like think about it, I like always think I like it less than I actually do. And then like I think about what happens and then I watch it again and I'm like, no, Honestly, this could be my favorite K-drama I've seen. It's so good and it's hands down one of my favorite shows of all time. So yeah, I'm gonna watch another episode of that. Let me find it first. <laughs> the other show I could watch is True Beauty because the last two episodes are supposed to come out today and tomorrow, but I watch it with my sister so I have to wait for her so I can't watch that right now, which unrelated to absolutely everything. I am obsessed with True Beauty. I have literally planned out, I don't even know if I'm actually gonna film this, but I've planned out an entire video about True Beauty because like I don't know how to explain to you that that show is like perfection. It's literally a perfect show. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life and it's pure Shakespeare. The video I have planned in mind is literally called True Beauty is Pure Shakespeare because like it is. It's so good. It's such a good show. Anyway, K-drama rant over. I'm gonna watch while you were sleeping while I put my clothes away and get some of this done before I move on to other things. All right, so in the midst of um, trying to clean out my chair, I ended up uh, just throwing all my shoes around for some unknown reason. Okay, I just need to show this scene for a second to explain why I love K-drama romances so much because they just perfectly understand the yearning that I am looking for when I'm watching a romance show or reading a romance book or whatever. Like when I want romance in my media, this is the type of yearning I want. It's that pride and prejudice, like our hands can barely touch type of yearning. And just watch this scene. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Are we kidding? That's, that's what I want. That's what I always want. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, we went outside to brave the cold for a minute because the plum blossom tree outside of our house is blooming and the flowers are so pretty and the sun is setting so the sky looks really pretty. So I took some pictures of it and um, yeah, that was my little outdoor adventure for the day, literally going into my backyard. <laughs> anyway, I cleaned my chair, as you can tell. It's all clean and nice and I can actually sit on it which is so nice <laughs> i literally love this chair so much i sit here all the time with like this pillow on my lap and just like work here because i don't have a desk so this is literally my desk anyway i'm glad that's finally done um i still have to reply to my emails they're not all like urgent urgent like i don't have to reply to all of them today but like it would be nice to so i'm gonna try and at least get through like half of them i think i have four or five i'm gonna try and do like three and see how i feel after that sometimes once i get in the momentum of emails it's a lot easier to answer them but like i have this and i know it's like a common thing online a lot of people talk about it but i have this like terrible email anxiety where i just like put them off forever because i just hate replying to emails i hate it so much it gives me so much anxiety like every time i get an email i instantly open it because i hate having like the notification that i have an email i instantly open it and then i just like don't reply for at least like three to five business days like it, it, it's a problem i've been like super grateful to some of my friends because they like will help me write my emails i will like facetime them or call them or something and just be like i don't know how to reply to this i want to say this and this but i like don't know how to like word that in an email and then they'll like type it out as i'm talking to them <laughs> and then send it back to me and they help me out with my emails so like thank you to my friends you know who you are for helping me do that it helps me so much and ever since like that it's been a lot easier for me to like finally write out my own emails more consistently because like i can do it it's just like getting myself to do it and getting over the anxiety of it but it has gotten a lot easier so um yeah i think i'm gonna try and reply to a few of those emails now hopefully we can finish that off and um then honestly I still have to make my thumbnail and stuff, but I'm gonna call it a day. Like, I I don't have the energy for that today. Um, I have plenty of time tomorrow to make my thumbnail. So yeah, let's try and get through some of those emails and then I won't have to think about them as much and then I'll feel a lot better. Can she get through these emails? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> sent. Email one is sent. Okay. That's one down, like four more to go. <laughs> sending it. I'm done overthinking. <laughs> Just sending it. I did it. I finished the emails. <laughs> okay, mind you. I still have like a few more to answer, but they weren't the ones that were on my list. So I finished every single email on my list, plus an extra email, which I was not planning on answering. So six emails and I'm done. I'm literally done. I did have dinner and stuff in the meantime as well. So it's been a little bit since I updated you all, but I'm just so happy I'm done. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta sit up. This is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. But yeah, I finished all the emails that were on my to-do list. I finished literally everything that was on my to-do list today except making my thumbnail for my video, which is fine. Like I can easily do that tomorrow. I don't have any other plans tomorrow, especially now that I filmed this today and I was planning to film this tomorrow. I even filmed this today. So like got ahead, like seriously got ahead, which is so nice because I did not think I would be able to do this. <laughs> like I mentioned, I've just been feeling so anxious and so stressed out for the past like couple of days and it just feels so nice to actually get work done ahead of time also all my hair is like falling out of my clip and just coming undone so don't mind this disheveled look <laughs> but yeah i ended up getting so much done today and i'm so so glad about it um i also took like decent enough breaks throughout the day too and everything was like spread out well so i feel really good um i can take as much of a break as i want tomorrow i really don't have much to do which is super nice because i need a day of just like doing nothing um so that'll be really good i'll be able to relax and 
take the time I need to plan some other stuff out a little bit. But yeah, I'm glad today was as productive as it was. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I just like want to reiterate that my purpose with this video or any other type of video I do that's like this is not to like say that you need to be productive in order to have value. We're not here with that like capitalist propaganda. That's not my message here, okay? <laughs> the moral of this video and the general message that I would like to get across to people is that you do not have to let your mood or your mental state or mental illness, depending on whatever you're dealing with, dictate how your life goes or how your day goes. Even if we don't want to look at it on a grand scale, you just want to look at it on a smaller scale. You don't have to let it dictate the way that your day goes. I've done this for so many years where I wake up in a bad mood and I just let that bad mood or that anxiety or whatever it is that day dictate how my day is run and quite honestly sometimes you just have to let that happen for a while until you're in a place where you can work through it a bit more and I've definitely let it run my life for a very long time but I've gotten to a place now where I'm much more able to consistently like get myself out of it and practice getting myself out of it and I think it's really just like practice of getting yourself out of it like the anxiety doesn't go away obviously like halfway through this day I got super anxious and really like unmotivated and unproductive but I was able to find coping mechanisms to help me get out of that headspace a little bit and still be able to do some things and I think it's just working to find that balance of those two things and finding that balance allows you to take just little steps towards getting to a better place and I think it's those little steps that matter the most. Sometimes I feel like we're always trying to make like big changes and we want to see like immediate results but really it's just about like the little changes you make and making just small progress because small progress adds up to big progress and eventually you will see the change. When I look at myself from like a year ago and two years ago but even just a year ago, even just six months ago, if I compare the way that I was able to function then versus the way that I'm able to function now, it's like drastically different and it's because I've been taking little steps over the span of several years to finally get to a place where I'm able to be in this headspace more consistently now. So do not undermine the little things that you do for yourself and the little steps that you take because they do add up and eventually it's going to look like a lot of progress, even if it seems small right now. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I'm literally just gonna go uh, wash my face, do my skincare routine, get in bed, and probably watch another episode of while you were sleeping. <laughs> or maybe I'll listen to a little bit of a book tonight or something since I haven't read today. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful for you maybe if you needed to get some work done. I hope that it motivated you or maybe it was just comforting and I could just be there with you as you um, try and do some of your work and get some of your work done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I love you all very dearly and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, my arms are too short. I can barely reach the camera. <laughs>